So, you want to learn the VLC command line? Here's a way to get started. First, turn on Debug Messages within VLC. Tools, Messages, Verbosity 2. Now, use the GUI to perform what you are trying to accomplish from the command line. In this case, I will extract an MP3 from one of my other YouTube videos. Now look back through the messages. Although it's not the command line verbatim, I can tell you from experience that many of these messages contain verbatim parts of the VLC command line you would use. So see if you can decipher some of these messages and align them with the VLC command line help. To get the command line help, type VLC dash capital H and it will drop a file into the current working directory called VLC dash help dot txt. In this case, the equivalent VLC command line would have been VLC source media URL processing chain VLC colon slash slash quit. Notice that most of this information is in the messages. The first token, VLC.exe, is of course the VLC executable. Make sure it is on your operating system path so you can execute it from the command prompt in any directory. The second token is the path to the source file. The third token is a chain of two processes that will happen to the source stream. First, the source stream will be converted from MP4 video to MP3 audio. Second, the source stream will be saved to a file. The fourth token tells VLC to exit when these tasks are done. More specifically, V codec equals none means we are dropping the video. A codec equals MP3 specifies the format of the output audio stream. AB equals 128 is the output audio bitrate in kilohertz. Channels equals 2 is the number of audio channels. Sample rate equals 44,100 is the audio sample rate in hertz. Access equals file means the output stream will be stored in a file as opposed to, for instance, being streamed over the web. Mux equals raw is the output muxer, or how audio and video are combined. DST equals a path works with access equals file and that it specifies where the output should be streamed to. So that is a good way to get started using the VLC command line. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you, pass it on to your friends and favorite, thumbs up, and subscribe. Please let me know what other kinds of programming videos you would like to see and check out my other videos.